Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and uh, today I want to share with you about Right Start Math. I just completed level A with my oldest child and um, feel like I can give a decent review about that right now and um, just kind of share what the program is like, what comes with it, and whether it is worth the investment or not. So stick around and I will explain all of that. All right, so I just completed level A, right? Start Math does levels by A, B, C, D, E, F, G, um, and so on, so that it's not connected to a grade level. Um, they don't want it to connect to the grade level just in case you um, need to start your child who is in second grade at level A because they're just struggling or um, whatever. They do recommend that if you are new to the program to start with level A, um, from what I have read, because there are some basic um, teaching practices that include the abacus, which is a huge portion of this, and um, and also a way in which they say their letters or their numbers. And so this is a good foundation, and that's why they recommend this level. Um, even though I just started level B with my son who just finished level A, and um, there's a bunch of review in the beginning of the chapter, so I'm not sure it was necessary. So I would say take the placement test and do some reading if you have a child who's a little bit older, but I are looking into this program. All right, so um, what comes with this program? There's a lot. <laughs> so when you purchase your level, you purchase um, the teacher's manual, you purchase um, the student sheets. Now you can purchase the student sheets in two formats. You can purchase them digitally or you can purchase a spiral notebook that they send to you with your teacher's manual. Um, the printable is more expensive because you would be using them with multiple children. So that is what I do because I am planning ahead and thinking that I would use it with another child of mine or two. So I purchase the worksheets um, separately. These are level B, but level A, same thing. Um, and then you just print them off on your computer. Um, there are about, I don't know, it's a pretty thick book of um, pages. So I um, went to a print shop to have them printed instead of doing them on my home computer, just because my home, my home printer is really slow. Um, so that is what comes with the level that you purchase. Then on top of that, you purchase a, um, you have to purchase, and I, I like highly stre uh, stress this, you can't do this program without the manipulative kit. Now the manipulative kit runs about $300, I believe. Um, and is it worth it? If you like the program, then yes it is. So what comes with that? Um, I'm going to show you all of my stuff so that you can get a picture of what it comes with. Um, it comes with this book of math games. Um, the, the whole point of Right Start Math, which I'll go back over, is to um, do things with hands and instead of worksheets to play games, to just practice the concepts. So it comes with this math games book that has the rules for every game that you're going to play um, in your set. It comes with um, cards. Now, let me show you really quick. This is what I hold my current manipulatives in, and this is what I keep in my cart for um, my son as we go. So we have, these are number cards that we use one to nine to play addition games and things like that. <clears throat> it comes with your abacus. I purchased a second abacus because my daughter was kind of sticking around during math with us, and so she needed her own to participate. So we have two abacus. Um, it comes with a packet when you, uh, this actually comes with your level, um, but a packet of your appendix cards. They're on cardstock, and they are cards that then you cut out to play additional games. So these ones here are that I keep in just a little pencil 
pouch from the 99 cent store. These are from level A that I just had have and I keep them stored in here um, along with some toothpicks and some just random things. Um, and then <clears throat> I'll put that inside. So that's what this container is. And um, they're all the car the game cards that are in the back of your teacher's manual, but they give those to you printed out so that you don't have to cut and tear apart your teacher's manual. Didn't know that in the beginning. And then I looked back at it and I realized it. So it does come with all those cards when you buy your level. Now back to the other thing. Um, it comes with the abacus tile cards so that you can um, do some different activities with these. It comes with these squares. Um, they are used almost every single lesson, so you need these. Um, it also comes with a, it comes with this clock. I use a different clock, but it comes with this clock. Um, I purchased the Judy clock just because that's what I used when I was teaching. And I, this one's more sturdy, but this is what it comes with and it works the same. So I have two works well because I have my two kids. Um, your level books also comes with a Yellow is the Sun songbook. There are some songs that go along with this curriculum. And this is a like picture book that goes along with how they show numbers. So abacus, hands, written, and tally marks. <clears throat> And then I also have another pencil pouch that has our place value cards, our coins, plastic coins, our centimeter cubes, and our um, tally sticks. So that is what comes um, in the kit as well. Now that is the end of my what I keep handy um, for most lessons. Those are the things that are used on a more regular basis or that I had just recently used with my child. Now I also keep a box like this. This carries all my math manipulatives that I have acquired over the years, um, but also that I've acquired through this program. So um, Right Start also sends you a whiteboard, which you use a lot. Um, these uh, fraction tables and fraction cards that uh, you use down here. Um, that's something that I have personally. They also send you, you get a deck of fraction cards, you get a deck of clock cards. There's these cards which we haven't used yet. Um, there are more number cards. There's a money cards deck for when we start playing money games, I'm sure. There are base 10 picture cards, which we haven't used yet. <clears throat> you get a calculator. And then you get these cards that are counting by 10s, 20s, 30s, whatever. 10, 20, 30, this is, these are the 10s cards, there's, um, you get a whole deck. So you get these envelopes that then you put your um, skip counting cards in. So like this one, it's counting by twos, uh, and they're cards that you use for those. So I keep those cards, I keep all my cards in a little box like this inside my manipulative box, and then when I look ahead for the week, I pull what cards I need for our lessons for the week. You get a bag of geometric shapes and cubes, um, all kinds of geometric shapes that you will use eventually. <clears throat> you get a geometric reflector. So you talk about reflections and this thing reflects, um, you put it next to the shape and it reflects the side that it's showing. Um, you get a set of like protractors and um, rulers and things like that. They call it the um, hands-on geometry drawing board set um, and it comes with all kinds of <clears throat> pieces. So triangle place pieces and such 
we um, again did not haven't used that yet that's not part of um, level A for sure I'm not sure about level B because we haven't gotten there yet um, and let's see there's also um, the geometry panels that come as well and these you then eventually build geometric shapes using the rubber bands and the um, pieces it comes with a geo board which I have in my geo board box um, that my kids play with during like quiet time in another location um, you also get tangrams cubes and well you also get a ruler um, but I believe that is uh, with my other area <laughs> um, so that is what comes in your kit of supplies and there's a um, whole list that and it'll show you all the pictures of everything and when you get it you will get a giant box full of all this stuff and it was so fun to unpack this with my son he got so excited when it came and it made um, getting ready for math really fun because he was excited for it um, so that is what comes with your kit um, and the things that you can get now about the program I started this with my son who was six. He had not had any kindergarten before, but he had, um, we had done some kindergarten level like workbook math. I had tried Horizon K and he just wasn't a worksheet kid. It was just tedious for him at the age of four. Plus he was going to preschool at four and five and he was going to preschool and it was just, he was catching on really fast, but he was just kind of bored, which is why I looked into this. Um, cause I was looking for something a little bit more challenging. Now, this is not more challenging, at least as far as my child was concerned. Um, we did two to three lessons in this book a day, which is why we finished so quickly. There are 136 lessons, I believe, in each of the, um, we have 132 lessons in each of the, um, levels. And we finished it in, um. We started in July. We took some time off. Um, we finished this in about five and a half, six months. And that being done by skipping multiple lessons or doing multiple lessons together. Um, and it just kind of flew through. I didn't find that much was challenging for my son. And um, I don't know if he's just mathematically minded and so it made sense. Or if it was it's just an easy start to the concept of math. I was getting ready to purchase our next level of math form for my son since we finished this and I started talking about how I was going to use a different math next year or next time and he lost his mind and he was like no mom we have to do the same math and I said why why do you have to do the same math why can't we try something else and he said mom I really like it it's really fun and I said, why, why is it so fun? And he said, I like doing math with things. And the things he was talking about were all the manipulatives. And so we um, went ahead and purchased Level B. Now, we had just started Level B. The first 10 lessons are review. And because we just finished the Level A we didn't need the review like if you were starting after summer or whatever. Um, we're just kind of moving through. So we did seven lessons in the first day of the review lessons just to kind of make sure he had the concepts from the earlier chunks of time. Um, however, so far, and by the things I'm looking at, it's fairly easy for him. Um, however, he likes it, and he likes math. And it, I think a lot of times... If kids are being mentally stimulated and um, enjoying the process, even if it's easy, that they're going to um, grasp the concept. Um, so we um, are, I will give another review once we get through this level B. Um, but as of right now, I find the program to be on the more um, simple side, but the mental math capacity that uh, my son has shown in the last six months is unreal. And I'm almost positive it's due to this program and the use of the abacus and the use of 
skills to teach them how to find problems mentally. And you review concepts in their head all the time. So they're orally presenting it to you. So it's getting just cemented into their brains. And then the games that you play also cement the ideas into their heads. Excuse me. So as far as uh, type of student goes, if you have a t kinesthetic learner or a boy who just needs to be moving all the time and worksheets are just awful and hideous, then this is a great program. Um, it's a great program because you're using things and they're learning all of their math skills using their hands and manipulatives and all of the tactile things. Now, my son just finished it. He is still six. He started when he was six. Well, no, he was five when he started. Turned six during that time. Um, my daughter is four. She doesn't turn five until October, but we are going to be starting Right Start Math A right now. Um, so just think about your kids and how it is. It is not unmanageable to do this program um, two lessons at a time because it builds on each other, but it also spirals. It was very simple to do two at a time. So if you are feeling like, oh, I'm not sure, um, that's just kind of my opinion on it. Um, I will tell you though, that it is very teacher intensive. <laughs> you do everything with your child, especially if there's no older children to play the card games with, you're the person to play the card games. So, um, it does take a lot of focus time on your part. Um, it's not a, here's a worksheet, get it done kind of a thing, or here's the lesson I'm teaching you how to add five and five or whatever, make 10 or however it is. And here's your worksheet, go practice. This is a, you practice with your child. You are there the whole step of the way. So just know that, um, going into it. I knew that going into it. Um, and when you're teaching kindergarten, first grade, it is teacher intensive. It is teacher intensive when you're in a classroom. So it is just what it is. But, um, I ha having had it, two other little kids around who wanted my attention, it did make it a challenge at times, but I still think it was worth it. And my son loved it and he's loving math. And that's not something he fights me on where he tends to be a fighter, even though he gets through things. So anyways, that is my opinion. I'm sorry for this to be so long. Um, but I hope it is helpful. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, I, uh, I'm not an expert in this by any means, but I have worked with the program and um, I do think that um, that it is a good one. And I do think if you're looking for a kinesthetic program, trying not to do worksheets, um, there are some worksheets, but it's not heavy on the worksheets, then this is a great program um, and a great option for your family. And like I said, I'm going to be using this with my kindergartner, um, even though she's not technically kindergarten, I'm going to be starting her um, on the level A. And if we go a little slower, then that's fine because she's younger and she's not ready. So anyways, again, babbling, but I hope uh, this helps. And if you have any questions, uh, leave them below. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. And um, I do um, videos on curriculum review whenever I'm able. So anyways, have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.